Hello guys, welcome to my new series in which I'll be discussing date and time in Python. So the concept of dealing with date time is ridiculously simple in Python, but it can be a bit intimidating for the beginners. So that's why I feel the need of making a video series on date and time in Python. Okay, and this is the first video of the series. And in this video, we'll be um, uh, exploring the date time module, and we'll learn how to get the current date and time in Python using the date time module. Right. So let's see how is that done. So first of all, you must know that there is a built-in module in Python called date time, which helps you deal with the date and time. So what you can do is from date time, import date time. That's it. So this is how you import the date time module. And then if you want to know what time is it right now, you simply do date time dot now. So date time dot now will return a date time object which contains all the information about the time which is um, uh, which is right now, right? Okay. So as you can see here, it's the year, and then it's the month, then the day, then it's the hour, then it's the minute, and then the second, and then the microsecond, right? So if you want um, the if you want these values in independent manner what you can do is um, first of all make a variable for this date time object let's say it's now so now now contains all the details of the current time so now now dot now dot um, date will give me the date object so you must understand that date itself is a big object which contains some data some more data okay so now dot date returns a date object which contains the year month and the day right and now dot time returns me the time like this right so this is the hour minute second and the microsecond and then you have um, now if you want any value individually let's say you want to know the hour so what you can do is you can do now dot um, now dot r so it's an attribute of um, the current time now dot r if you want the minute what minute is it now dot minute you want the second of the daytime object it's now dot second right so this is how you can get the value of any um, attribute and other than that you can also convert it into some date or a time object and then with that date or time object you can do some operations let's say d is equal to now dot date then you can do d dot day so look at that you can still get the value of the day by going like this right and other than that you can also get the day of the week it is so it's d dot weekday so it gives me a, okay so it's a function so you can do it like this d dot weekday 3 right since it's Thursday so this is how it all works and it's pretty simple to do you can simply use the now function get the current time and then do any kind of operation with that right and yeah so that's all it is from this first video in the next video we'll be learning about the interconversion between string and the daytime object so